Hi there, I'm Jamie Dyer. I have a PhD in genetics and I teach biology. And when evolution comes up, sometimes my students ask, can you believe in evolution and God at the same time? Yes. Who are you? Hi, I'm Jamie Jensen and I teach biology at Brigham Young University. I also have a PhD in biology and I teach evolution. Okay. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. I accept evolution and I'm a Christian. So let me get this straight. You believe in evolution and you believe in God. Yes, well, sort of. I accept evolution. I believe in God. Okay, that's just semantics, though. I mean, <laughs> it's just semantics. You believe in both. It's not just semantics. So there's a difference between belief and acceptance. So in science, we never say, I believe in gravity or I believe in evolution. We accept that gravity is the best explanation for phenomena such as an apple falling from a tree. We accept that evolution is the best explanation for modern day diversity. There's really no belief involved. Okay, okay. So you, so you accept evolution and you believe in God. But I mean, I thought those two were like diametrically opposed. I thought you couldn't do both. No, no, they're not diametrically opposed. They're just different ways of knowing. Look, Jamie, how do you know truths about the natural world? Well, I mean, with evidence, right? Scientists do experiments, they collect evidence, they have a model, they see if the evidence fits their model. If the evidence doesn't fit their model, then they change their model. Absolutely, and it turns out there's tons of evidence for the model of evolution. Right, yeah, I mean, that's why I accept evolution as true. Yeah, exactly. But finding truth through religion is slightly different. It does depend on evidence, but it's a different kind of evidence. It's more personal feelings and your experience with God. It's not the type of evidence that you plot or graph or measure, but it's real nonetheless. Okay, so it's evidence, but it's not like scientific evidence. Exactly. It's not scientific. God is supernatural, which literally means he's above nature. So science deals with the evidence from the natural world, um, which means that there can't be evidence for God, and there also can't be evidence against God. Okay, so science can't prove that God does not exist? Exactly. Without evidence, science can't make any claims about God. So science is agnostic. Exactly. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So going back to evolution and religion, you accept evolution, right? Absolutely. There's plenty of evidence that evolution did happen and continues to happen. But what about God? I mean, how do you reconcile God as creator versus mutations as creator? That's the beautiful thing. It doesn't have to be one or the other. It's very possible that God used the mechanism of evolution to bring about his creations. Okay, so you accept evolution and you believe in God, both. Absolutely. Science and religion are just two different ways of knowing. They're not in conflict, they're in parallel. Cool. Well, thanks for dropping in, Jamie. No problem, Jamie.